we are deceived by those who would have us believe that a multitude of affairs blocks the pursuit of liberal studies they make a pretense of their engagements and multiply them when their engagements are merely with themselves as for me lucilius my time is free it is indeed free and wherever i am i am master of myself for i do not surrender myself to my affairs but loan myself to them and i do not hunt out excuses for wasting my time and wherever i am situated i carry on my own meditations and ponder in my mind some wholesome thought when i give myself to my friends i do not withdraw from my own company nor do i linger with those who are associated with me through some special occasion or some case which arises from my official position but i spend my time in the company of all the best no matter in what lands they may have lived or in what age i let my thoughts fly to them demetrius for instance the best of men i take about with me and leaving the wearers of purple and fine linen i talk with him half naked as he is and hold him in high esteem why should i not hold him in high esteem i have found that he lacks nothing it is in the power of any man to despise all things but of no man to possess all things the shortest cut to riches is to despise riches our friend demetrius however lives not merely as if he has learned to despise all things but as if he has handed them over for others to possess farewell end of letter sixty two recording by john van stan savannah georgia this librivox recording is in the public domain